woman had just woken up from a nap, only to find herself lying on top of a situation. She almost fell, the surface around her was incredibly smooth, and she couldn't find the slightest borrowing point. She looked into the endless abyss, and frowned and fear for an instant. In order not to fall, she used her hands to painstakingly support her body, and her body leaned tightly against the curved surface. She looked at the exit that was to fingers above her and still didn't give up. After calming down, she slowly lifted her right leg and used it as a support point, which made it much easier for her. Then she slowly stretched out her left hand and pressed it close to the wall, trying to use it to roll over. The result was the next second. She almost fell off, but the roof was already dark and cloudy, and it was about to rain. She would surely die at that time. The woman looked at her bloodied hands, endured the severe pain, rubbed the blood away with her clothes, and then blew her palms dry. She had to make sure her hands were dry to increase the friction. Then she pressed her palms against the curved surface, and once again slowly lifted her paws and pushed with both hands, finally rising her body a little. Repeatedly, her body had risen to a certain height. But just as she wanted to blow dry her palms again, she was surprised to see two bright red palm prints left on the curved surface opposite her. Obviously, the person on the opposite side had suffered the same torture as him. The woman instantly frowned. It was as if he had already seen his end, but he still didn't give up and was still desperately supporting his body. But just then, the rain poured down and the surface became even more slippery and the friction decreased. The woman began to slide downward little by little. She suddenly thought of the necklace around her neck and proceeded to wrap it around her hand bit by bit, borrowing it to increase the friction between her hand and the wall. Nevertheless, at the end of the story, the woman is still not seen on the surface. At the end of her life, she was still trying to save herself, 